Hello, everyone, and welcome to MBA 566 Digital Marketing for the spring of 2021. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different than some years in the past, obviously, with the pandemic still going on. I decided to hold the class completely uh, asynchronously for all um, for both sessions, right, essentially, with a synchronous session once a week uh, that kind of serves as a class discussion and office hour time period. Now, that discussion will be um, recorded so that you can see it later. Uh, but I did want to kind of bring that up up front because it's probably the biggest change to this class. Um, and in this video right here, I'm going to go through a couple of small details uh, about how the class is going to run, who I am, kind of those kinds of things, and, and talk about it. Now, this is kind of a quick summary of the syllabus in some ways. Uh, but if you want more details, always uh, refer to the syllabus. And of course, um, you can feel free to email me or uh, the TA Heist Overgore at any time. Um, you can also tweet at me at Bill Rand. I'm, I'm active on Twitter pretty well. Um, my office will be 2324 Nelson Hall, but I'm not going to be there very much this semester, as you might expect. Uh, and so um, don't expect me to see you there. I, I am planning to go in once a week. So if you want to leave something for me or anything like that, that's fine. But everything in this class is on Moodle. All the classes on Moodle, right? And all your assignments are going to be turned in on Moodle. So there's not really any need uh, for any uh, physical interaction, really, <laughs> on this class. Um, the videos are also all up on YouTube, right? And they're up on my personal YouTube account, youtube.com slash Bill Rand. Uh, you can also, you know, I, I put a playlist together specifically uh, that you can get to at go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 590 YouTube, and they'll be up there as well. Uh, as I record the office hours, I'll make them available there as well. Um, and there are Thursdays at 5 p.m. on Zoom, and I just emailed the details uh, to many of you as to the uh, session and the passcodes. You do have to be logged on to your at ncsu.edu account in order to get into the uh, session um, on Zoom, and that's just to prevent any uh, kind of uh, extra people from showing up in the sessions, right? Which has been happening at some of these uh, sessions, not mine, but you know, some other ones on campus. Um, a small note, you know, if you go to the YouTube channel, you can see all my old video content. I do try and update a couple of the videos, um, you know, on a regular basis. So uh, you, if you want to kind of get a sneak peek, you can always look at those. But I will be updating the content as the class goes on. Now, as, as eventually at some point during the class, um, you know, usually this happens around the mid break of the class or so. I will have all the content for the rest of the semester up, uh, yeah, maybe more towards the second half of the class. But um, and so you can kind of go through and see all the videos at that point. But because I do update and kind of increase the content as the time goes on, I, I you know don't rely upon the 2020 videos because I may be updating some of the content. Um, so yeah, so that's the basic it. You know, the class is in terms of the content and the delivery of the content is very simple. I've broken up all the videos into like 10 minute, you know, five, 10, 15 minute chunks. Should be nice and easy for you to parse through. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions or concerns. In terms of required supplementary and additional reading, there is no actual um, uh, required textbook, if you will. Uh, there is a um, required reading in terms of the articles I'll be posting on a weekly basis. Uh, the first one should be up shortly for next week on augmented reality. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but those will be each week. And then you will be expected to come to the Thursday sessions prepared to discuss those readings in particular. Uh, there is a highly recommended supplementary textbook called eMarketing, the Essential Guide to Online Marketing. It is free. It's published by Quirk, and you can download it up there. I also suggest that, you know, whenever you're both working on the assignments or on the big group project assignment that we'll be discussing, that you consult other sources. And I've listed a couple of my favorites here, eMarketer, Mashable, Wired, Slashdot, a Fast Company, uh, marketing over coffee. Most of these are kind of either traditional blogs or magazines. Marketing over coffee is a podcast I really like in this space. Um, so feel free to check those out as well. Grading. So grading for this class is essentially really focused on one big assignment that you'll be working on most of the semester, which is the group project. 30% of your grade will come from the eventual written group project plan that you'll turn in. 
10% will be determined by the website and social media creative content you create. Another 10% will be based upon the group project presentation that you'll do at the end of the class, right? So 50% of your grade is actually related to the group project, right? Or, or, or specifically to group effort, right? Another 50% of your grade comes directly from your individual contributions to the class. 15% of that is actually still related to the group project, but it's the peer review of uh, your own performance by your group members. Another 15% will come from a conceptual assignment that we'll have uh, early on in the class, right? That we'll discuss some of the concepts related to the class. And another 15% will come from an analytical assignment, a more uh, math related and uh, data driven assignment that you'll see um, about two thirds of the way through the class. 5% um, will be participation, right? Uh, and that will be judged, um, as we'll talk about, basically based by um, your, uh, your showing up for the discussions that we have on Thursdays, as well as discussions that you can participate in the Moodle. I've tried to make this so that people with busy schedules, with other things going on, right? And especially in this time and, and day when, when the world is just a little hectic, right, um, right now, um, to provide you with the ability to participate as many ways as possible. Uh, so if you have any concerns about that, let me know. But uh, I'm primarily gonna be looking, and Heiss is gonna be looking at the discussions on the Moodle and in the Zoom sessions to determine uh, your overall participation grade, right? So every week I try and update the top box on the Moodle so that it lists exactly what, um, what I expect you to do that week, right? Um, this week in particular, I want you to make sure that you complete the survey that's available at go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 590 survey and you'll find some links there. It's basically just a survey for me to better understand who you are and how to tailor the class individual instruction to your expectations, needs, and desires. Um, there is a section on there where I ask a bunch of questions about like internet culture and internet um, properties, internet history. Um, don't worry too much about like researching them. I'm, I actually, in fact, don't want you to look the answers up. I want you to just give me what you think the answer is. I always find it to be a little fun and interesting to see what people respond with. Uh, there is an article that I specifically want you to watch for next week uh, on uh, augmented reality that's posted there. And there's an optional podcast if you want on augmented reality as well. And this talks about augmented reality and its relationship to uh, marketing. Well, at least the, the, the article does. And the article is specifically in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, which I thought was particularly interesting. And how much more important things like augmented reality have become for the fashion industry, right? So read that, come prepared to discuss it um, next Thursday um, when we have that discussion on the 28th. Um, I also want you to start thinking about your preferred group team members. And, and, you know, unfortunately, I need to get these groups together shortly. So by January 29th at midnight, um, and you'll notice almost all my assignments are due um, the Friday of the week they're due at, at close to midnight. The, the system won't let me set it up at 11.59.59 or whatever. So it's set up for 11.55. Uh, but yeah, by, by midnight, essentially, on January 29th, I want you to turn in um, who your preferred group team members are. Um, uh, you know, besides what's listed directly here, I've been updating as I add more videos, which videos to watch, uh, on the Moodle. Um, and, um, you know, if you want, you can also read chapter 22 of the textbook, which kind of covers the history of the internet, which might be useful uh, as well for discussing. So with that being said, that's my quick introduction to the course this semester. Um, we'll talk more about this in the office hours on Thursday if you have any questions, uh, but you can also shoot me an email um, or uh, tweet at me at any time, and I'm happy to respond. Thanks, everybody. I'm really looking forward to a great semester. I think it'll be fantastic. This is always one of my favorite classes to teach, um, and we've got a couple of cool companies, I think, coming on board to work on the group projects, which you'll hear more about shortly, uh, so I'm really excited about this semester. Uh, take care.